Welcome back to Energy's Baseball. I'm Energy's Baseball, and the Padres have hired Mike Silk to be the new manager. I think it's a great move, but um, and I just the feeling he was going to be the manager all along because, especially as he got late in the process, if you look at the Brewers. In the Astros, the last two teams before the Hall Rays, you hired my you hired their manager. Is they went with eternal guys, so and out of canvas that the parties interviewed. So was the best Canada because. So has managed three seasons. He has a two, two fifty two, one ninety nine record. Man, and as a manager, and has managed going on into three straight winning seasons. So, yes, like he's the most qualified. Yes, he got fired for Philadelphia. There are soft record differences with the Cardinals from office, but and he said, like, "Oh, he hadn't been, he hadn't gone to an interview for the manager." Okay, but if you look, he, he did after the interview after getting fired for the for the Cardinals back in um, before the Pirates had Bob Marlin. He was was well, interviewed with the finalist, but he. If you look at the managers, there haven't been a lot of man managerial openings since he been with Paris. If okay, the only new managers uh, since then were the White Sox, the Rangers. Okay, a lot of them. So that's so. I think he's gonna be a great manager. Um. So like, yeah, I I I expect great thing from him. And obviously, you can say yes. He may not be the best manager, but he's he's better than it. Cause look, Ryan Flaherty had no manager experience. Um. Benny Gill has many of their fans, but not in big leagues. Uh, Phil Nevin uh, never had, had many of their fans, but we only we had one season on his belt. And one and a half seasons, and he had a, he had a team of Mike Town so had Tony, so I had a letter to lose what he's getting up ahead. So I think this is a great hire. Um those are my thoughts. Uh talk to you guys soon. Our next video will be a party's news video. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Bye.